The shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing God has told us about. And so they hurried to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. And their sheep went with them. When they saw Jesus, they repeated what the angel had said about him, and they knelt down and adored Jesus, their Lord and Savior. And the shepherds returned to their fields, thanking and praising God because of all that they had heard and seen. And they told the good news to many. Everyone who heard what they saw was amazed at what the shepherds told them. And Mary, well, she thought about all these things and kept them deep in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Okay, shepherds and angels, you can have a seat now, too. You're going to be singing here so you can sit with them. Okay. Well, it is. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. I know everyone in here is so excited. You know why? Because in just 10 more days, we get to go back to school. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. You're excited about Christmas. You're excited about Christmas. Now, I love everything about Christmas. I love Christmas trees. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas lights. How many of you, your families, have put up Christmas trees and Christmas lights? How many of them have made Christmas cookies? Yes. How many of you have already had a lot of Christmas sugar today? Yes, of course. And of course, of course, I love Christmas presents. So do you. Yes, you do. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions. I'm going to ask you two questions. And if you think you know the answer, raise your hand. Yeah, you, you don't know the question yet. <laughs> Definitely not sheepish. So, who knows what the very first Christmas lights were? What were the very first Christmas lights? What's that? That's right, the stars. Especially one star that led the kings, right? So the stars were the first Christmas lights. So you see the Christmas lights on the tree. They're like the stars in the sky. Okay, now here's a tough one. Here's a tough one. What was the very first Christmas present? What was the very first Christmas present? Not gold. Jesus. Jesus was the very first Christmas present, and Jesus was wrapped in swaddling clothes. 
And as a present, Jesus keeps giving and giving and giving. As Father said, it happens all year long, all the time. So today, we'd like to unwrap the Christmas present just a little bit with a song. We're going to hear a song, and I have asked Mrs. Lewis and members of the St. Patrick's School Choir to help out with this song. You might know the chorus of it. I think you do. We'll see. And Zane Clark is back from Montana, and he's going to help us out with the accompaniment. And anyone else who wants to join in over here with guitars and whatnot, I don't know what it's capoed, but have fun. I've got some cheat notes. And again, if you know the chorus, sing along. <laughs> She's trying to get everybody to move up. We've heard about a baby boy who came to earth to bring us joy, and we just want to sing this song to you. We celebrate the 25th, the moment of God's greatest gift. With every breath we're singing hallelujah. couple came to Bethlehem expecting child they searched the in to find a place where you were coming soon there was no place for them to stay so in a manger filled with hay God's only son was born a oh, hallelujah 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 Find me A star shone bright up in the east, and to Bethlehem the wise men three came many miles and journeyed long for you. And to that place at which you were, their frankincense and golden myrrh, they brought to you and joined in hallelujah. And so we come to church today to thank the truth, the life, the way, who came to be a guide for me and you. In this song in one accord to praise Emmanuel our Lord and raise our voices singing hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 